Here on the Advanced tab, you have an option to add a clearance around a void and contain areas. I'll cover this more in the section about contains and avoids. Also, I'll hold off on explaining the Z limits option as they're fairly advanced. For now, I'll switch to the Posting tab. On the Posting tab, you may have several options that may be different than these here depending on what post processor you're using. To make changes here, just click on a box and you'll see a drop down list appears with the options you have to choose from. The options here under the Optimize tab can save you a lot of machine time on certain types of parts. Let me switch to another part to illustrate. Here I have a rough mill and a contour mill operation for these pockets. If I run a simulation of this part, you'll see that the current tool path is certainly not the most efficient way to machine these pockets. There's a lot of excess tool path where the tool is not cutting any material. To improve this, I'll edit the definition of the rough mill operation and go to the Optimize tab. Under the Optimization Method drop-down, where I switch to a grid pattern and do a preview, you can see that the toolpath appears much more efficient. The options I've selected right now are to start the toolpath with the feature in the upper left and do a horizontal zigzag. I can select Vertical instead of Horizontal, and if I select Zig, you'll see the toolpath returns back to the side before machining the next row. Notice that the toolpath still starts in the top left of each pocket as it was defined on the roughing tab. The option I'm adjusting here determines which pocket will be done first. The Bandwidth option tells CamWorks a distance in which to look for additional features that are not parallel to features within the normal toolpath. You can see that these pockets are spaced an inch and a half in this direction and an inch and a quarter in this direction. If I enter a value of one inch in three hundred thousandths for the bandwidth, the pockets that are spaced an inch and a quarter fall within this range. When I press Preview, you'll see the toolpath updates and goes to the pockets within the range and moves back to the normal toolpath. I also have the options to have CamWorks calculate the shortest path. When I select this, you see that these options are now grayed out, and the only option I have is for the start point. Now, when I run a simulation of the toolpath, you'll see it is much more efficient than what we started with.